Hello, hello everybody, it's Alicia and I have got a game to play with all of you today. I have two featherweights sitting right in front of me and you can see them too. One of them is a 1935 featherweight which I'm super excited to have here and the other one is my 1939 Clickety. And so I wanted to do a small comparison between the earlier model 30s featherweights compared to some of the later model 30s featherweights and um, basically some of the designs that you see from the latter half of the 30s, mid 30s on down. So I'll explain a little bit more what I'm talking about as I go through. So first what I wanted to do is if you can't tell the difference from this angle, I wanted to zoom in on these beautiful scroll face plates. So this is the 1935 and seeing the Bob Intention um, there probably gave it away. But this right here is the original scroll face plate. This is the original one that they did and then um, they stopped doing this and made what you see more commonly on the scrolls that you see on Clickety. But I wanted to just have you look right here around the outside edge of that, um, we'll call it a decal, but that, that stamping, it's very intricately designed. When you look at clickities, you can tell that the stamping becomes much bigger. Um, it doesn't have as much as the intricate design as the earlier models do. Um, still beautiful in its own way, but it's so cool for me to be able to sit here and have one of these machines that's one of the ones that's just you know, beginning of it all. So this is too cool. So those are some of the differences there. The other thing that I wanted to note, um, you know, the front of the machine is relatively the same. You've got the singer that's more on the top of the light um, housing. And then you've got the chrome here and then the chrome stop back knob. So here's, you know, the, the chrome hand wheel, chrome singer up top. Yes, the person that shipped this out off of eBay decided to stick tape on there. Not too thrilled about that, but it happens. And then you've got this right here. Whoa, what is that? That is the earlier model um, bobbin tension meter. Well, not meter, but the bobbin tensioner. So that's on the front of the machine as opposed to clickities, which I had to take clickities off because upon inspection, uh, Stephen put the bobbin winder on the opposite side. Um, because I had him checking the spring inside of Clickety's thing because it seemed like it was a little off. So I have that off because I'm going to have him um, reattach that correctly. Uh, I'm scared to try to do it myself and have the springs go every which way. But that bobbin winder sits on the base of the machine as opposed to in the front of the machine. And then, if you've noticed... The decal is going all the way to the back of the machine by the light fixture, whereas on Clickety and most of the modern machines, that stops right when it gets to the bobbin tensioner. Um, and it's got the same type of design for the uh, actual uh, decal itself. It does have a lot of wear to the decals, but my goodness, this machine is one of the early ones. So Clickety also has the numbers on the tension dial, whereas this particular one does not. So um, definitely very dirty in there. I can definitely see that. Can't wait to get that all nice and cleaned up, but a little bit nervous as to how you go about using this particular type of a tensioner. So it's going to be a learning curve, but a wonderful experience. So the other thing to note is that this housing here, which goes on the back, it's on the back of the machine and then in here, there's the shaft and then the stop back motion, well not the stop back, the hand wheel um, goes onto that shaft. It does not go all the way down. So like on Clickety's, it goes down further and it has the doodad, but it goes down further. And then on this one, it does not go all the way down. It goes, you know, out and over. And yes, this little decal here is um, worn away some, but, um, and then the, the bobbin winder here is like a solid disc, solid disc. Whereas on Clickety's, it's more like a bowl shaped almost and kind of the ones that you see more modernly. 
So those are just some of the few little surprises that we've just kind of taken note of this machine. It is so unique and so neat and I am so excited to get started on this machine next. Um, so we'll be definitely doing a rundown on the machine and getting the parts ordered for the machine that we know right off the bat that it needs. And then I can't wait to get it all cleaned up and shined and spruced up and um, ready to go back to its home and meet its owner. So thank you all for joining us. Um, if you're anything like me right now, as much as I love Clickety, you are probably thinking I want one of those early feather rates because that is definitely what's going through my mind. But until then, I um, want to thank all of you guys for being a part of Featherweight 38. I enjoy having each and every single one of you here and being supportive. I love all of that. And um, thank you for following me. And I can't wait to see what this little machine can do. Have a great day, everybody.